the Red Deer Airport has been around since World War II as either a training facility or offering charter services. But the question is why? Red Deer has a population of over 90,000 people, but up until recently, it had not offered scheduled commercial flights out of the city. Grand Prairie, Prince George, Nanaimo and Medicine Hat all have commercial airline flights to major centers. So what took Red Deer so long? We look at that as we take you on the journey we like to call Up in the Air, how the Red Deer Airport wants to take off. RJ Steenstra is the CEO of Red Deer Airport. The Red Deer Airport is a nonprofit uh, corporation run by the Airport Authority Board, which is appointed by representatives of the city and the county. Uh, so we are not municipally owned, we're not county owned, we are an airport authority that's independent uh, and runs as a nonprofit corporation. Red Deer County Mayor Jim Wood further explains their relationship with Red Deer Regional Airport. We believe that the airport is very important to our municipality and to the region for economic reasons. And uh, we continue to hope that the Red Deer Airport will continue to grow over time and provide um, many jobs. Jobs for a nonprofit organization that had few scheduled commercial flights in 2011, yet they were very busy. In 2011, we had 44,000 movements uh, come into uh, the airport, which in proportion, uh, if you look at Edmonton, Edmonton had, had 138,000. So we obviously have a much smaller infrastructure, um, but we're certainly, uh, from a proportional standpoint, uh, a very, very busy airport. And that puts us at, at the second busiest airport in Canada amongst our peers. This is one of the most busiest airports in Western Canada for takeoffs and landings that has a non-scheduled service. We have a lot of charters where people come in and pick up people out of here and fly them to all different parts of Alberta and BC uh, because it's centrally located and it works well. Because we're so close to two major airports, by being able to get a commercial service here, it makes it really difficult for an airline to operate and be able to operate in the black and make money. The argument that gets thrown around is that international airports in Edmonton and Calgary are more than adequate enough to service Red Deer and surrounding area. But the extra drive of 100 kilometers or more to or from either airport is a huge time consumption. And really, it doesn't make sense if there's a perfectly functional airport nearby. That's the same logic used by the busy comedian Jerry Seinfeld and company when he was in Red Deer last year. With Jerry, uh, it was mentioned that he was coming in and that there was a possibility that he would be driven in from, from Calgary or other uh, destination. And I mentioned that he could easily come into the airport uh, with his private jet. And of course, that uh, was, uh, you know, hadn't been thought of. And, uh, and so uh, we did hear from Jerry's crew the following day and he did come in on private jet. As our series continues, we'll look at that argument in particular. Why have scheduled commercial flights here in Red Deer when international flights are a little over an hour away in Edmonton and Calgary? We explore more of Up in the Air, how the Red Deer Airport will compete in part two of our series.